Hey, this is Vandell from Vandell's Closet. You know where fashion icons are made. And I have your fashion tip of the week. Let's talk about every essential that every man needs in his closet. Let's talk about suits. All right, so we are dressed for the occasion. Let's talk about the essentials to have as a man. We need a black suit, a navy blue suit, a gray suit, and one light color suit, which could be a tan suit. And you may say, why? Well, if you're following your favorite rapper, they know when to dress to impress. First impressions are a lasting one. You can always go with a pair of Tim's, pair of jeans onto a board meeting. At some point, you gotta get dressed up to show that you know business. It's good for a wedding, funeral, maybe even your funeral. And you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on the suit. I understand, you know, you'd rather spend 200 on a pair of J's before you spend 200 on a suit. Well, if that's the case, check out your local thrift store. This suit right here, only cost me $12.99. Don't believe it, huh? Now, once you've had your favorite suit, make sure there's no tag on the sleeve. And if there's an opening vent, make sure that is opened in the back. Right? All right, the next essential you need is a good belt. Whether it's brown, this color is cognac or black, no other color. It can be a reverse belt. You know, some have brown on one side, black on the other. Then when it comes to the shoe, black, navy blue, cognac, and brown. You gotta know the difference. Brown is like a chocolate color. This is what we call cognac. Then you can work on your colored dress shirts, white, is more, uh, I would say, more business-like. Or if you like me, like a little color, you know, then you can work on that. A good cuffling is always in style. Now, when you get your suit, men, please have the suit fitted. Your pants are not meant to sag. Your pants, if your father or uncle or grandfather taught you, should sit right on your waist right where your neighbor is. And when you go to your tailor, you make sure you bring your dress shoe with you. So that way they can, if you watch my last show, you would know, that way your pants can sit right on top of your, your shoe. All right? Now, my biggest pet peeve that I've seen as a kid growing up in the church, and you will see, you know, non-church uh, guys come, they have the, the shirt, collar down here. No, have your neck measured. Your collar should sit on your neck, not on your collarbone. Find out what your sleeve length is. If you're gonna wear cufflings or no cufflings. But make sure you find a nice dress sock. Nothing worse looking than seeing a man in a nice shoe and then he sit down and he has an ankle sock. Now, not saying that every suit requires a dress shoe because the styles have changed. You can wear a canvas sneaker, but if you're gonna wear a canvas sneaker, you know, you either do a no-show sock or you can do a sock or barefoot if, if you want, no sock at all. But if you're gonna wear a dress shoe, at least put on a pair of decent looking dress sock. Now, if the shoe is too big, and I've done it, I put on the sweat sock and then put the dress sock over it, or you can go get a shoe insert to put in the shoe to give, give your foot that thickness that you need to keep the shoe on, especially if the shoe was bad and it only had the size up and you really wanted the shoe. Yeah, I've done that. But listen, if you can spend money on everything else, 
and we're so chasing the bag these days, why not look the part? First impressions are our lasting one. So, this is my fashion tip of the week for the men. It's all about the suits.